It is sad to think that in a city which once gave eunuchs top positions in society along with acceptance, they have to fight social stigma today along with a recently proposed transgender bill which poses a threat to the community's most basic rights. Swapna Little, a writer and historian, has curated a walk through Darya Ganj, an area that was once the old city of Shah Janabad that brings alive examples of historic gender equality. This is the Sunehri Masjid. The inscription on it tells us that it was constructed by the benevolent and courteous Nawab Bahadur Javed Khan of exalted power. Javed Khan was the chief eunuch in charge of the management of the household of the Mughal Emperor Muhammad Shah. Under his son Ahmad Shah, Javed Khan reached even greater heights. He was appointed Daruga of the Diwane Khas and given a high mansab rank of 6,000. Together with Ahmad Shah's mother, Kutsiya Begum, he was actually the power behind the throne. Javed Khan was one among several eunuchs, or Khwaja Sara as they were called with respect, who were given positions of power by the Mughal emperors. Several of them lived in grand mansions in the Red Fort. Start at the Delhi Gate, which was the gate leading into the walled city of Shah Janabad and pass by the Shroff Eye Hospital, a listed heritage building. Then walk your way across to the Zenith Old Masjid built by Aurangzeb's daughter. The famous Dr. Ansari's house and many other old houses along the way will be a pleasant reminder of old living. You can then end at the Suneri Masjid and the Red Fort to take back the relevance of this walk gender equality. An appetite will only naturally follow for which the Jain Bedni Puri is a great option. Along with butter chicken from the original Moti Mehel that claims to have brought the dish to Delhi.